about the Blues? What about the Blues? This was an exciting game. Well, 46 points, they were, they were down in the, the second quarter. And then that man out of nowhere just brought them back. We're watching third quarter highlights here. And this is when they got back uh, on a roll. Brownie, you were calling the game. You, you didn't hold much hope, even when they got these early goals from Kerno, But they just kept fighting. No, they came out a different side after halftime. They couldn't lay a hand on the Brisbane Lions. But uh, Charlie Kerno didn't have many kicks on the night. But what he did with those kicks was outstanding. And the Blues, their, their, their work rate around the contest, particularly after half time out Sean Brisbane who I thought in the first half you're sitting there going how good are Brisbane this year? Yeah they got back on top in the midfield I thought Jack Carroll was very good going yeah. into the centre bounce after half time the Blues fans came they came for me during the week I, I made the point on Wednesday night about Harry Mackay that until he gets his kicking right that, that's just the story. Everyone just doesn't talk about his football. They'll just keep talking about his kicking. But to his credit, mm. he did had four shots, he kicked three. And he's going to have his bad nights. But if you can just be more consistent. And what he did really well on, on this night was everything was the same. So he did miss one where he dropped the ball poorly out of his hand. But there was no snaps. It was four drop punts. So he did the same thing every time. And to his credit... He was the best man on the ground, and we talk and celebrate what a great game he played, not the misses. Could that be the circuit breaker for him? Oh, yeah. Like, uh, could you nail your first game yep. and you win a team for your, team, uh, for your side? That's what you need. Confidence, goal kicking's between the ears for sure. OK, speaking of in between the ears, here it is. It is the opening salvo for Whoa. season 2024, the Volcano. You're liking this one. Back it up. Well, just on, on that topic of, of Harry Mackay, I noticed this from Charlie Curnow and Nick Newman, his teammates, after the game. We're extremely happy with him and then just back to Big H holding that moment there. I think that can uh, put the media to sleep a little bit. So, well done, H. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the commentary about him this week, Kenny. Um, yeah, bloody proud of H. I think he cops it pretty unfairly at times. He's been in great form and but he works as hard as anyone I've ever seen. Well, Nick, the commentary should be around that is what he's expected to deliver. Yes, he was great. It was a big moment. It was a clutch moment. And it was an outstanding start to the season. But you are a player that Carlton have invested nearly a million dollars a season in for seven years. That is what you do. Like, this shouldn't be an out-of-the-box moment that this is just some outstanding game. That is the expectation. You're not going to kick the winning goal every week, but that performance should be consistently what he's able to produce for the year. That's what Tom Hawkins has done for 16 years. That's what Jeremy Cameron does. That's what Toby Green does. That's what Jesse Hogan did yesterday. So let's not give him the flowers and celebrate oh, what an okay. amazing game it was, which it was. That should be the expectation of the way that he performs for a player who's absolutely in his prime, who earns nearly a million dollars a season for the best part of seven years and needs, with Charlie Kerno to carry Carlton to a premiership. Hang on, if they, if they... We really are the most precious bunch in the world, aren't we, sports journalists? I just think that's the, no, no, that should on, be but, the expectation. No, but let me just say, if, 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 the, if he's getting whacked around the ears every week, right, be it by Lordo, be it by you or whoever, Surely they're entitled to give a little jab back. Yeah, and that's fine. The, the, OK, fine. The, that's what they did. The, ja so what... the jab is fine back. But let's not just go, OK, that, that's one game. Let's celebrate this. Let's hand him his flowers. He's arrived. <laughs> that should just be the expectation that you kick three goals in a big game on the prime time stage. That's really the expectation if they of what said you it in do. two months, should be different, isn't it? If he, if he does that and he's suddenly kicked uh, 30 goals eight mm. in five weeks or eight weeks' time, then we'd celebrate it more than one Yeah, week. it's a premature reaction yeah. to one game. Uh, well, this is, this is the whole point. This is why you end up having robots pulling on football boots because they're too scared to actually say anything because if they try to actually humanise themselves, as that was there... Right now, yeah, I'm just answering the question, what are the media going to say now? Oh, I'm, not, I'm not upset about it. I'm just going to say, well, the media are going to say that's what you should deliver. That, that, that's the reputation that you've got in the game. That's the investment the club has made and that should be a you know, reasonably standard Well, are you offended by it, Damon? <clears throat> No, and I, I actually get Kane's point. I mean, I, I was one of the critics too, and I, I, I copped it like you yeah. did after the game. And, and I'm, I was wrapped for him. Like, I smiled yeah. when that ball went mm. through. I mm. really genuinely yeah. did. And we make comments. And, and to Kane's point, actually just listening to him say it, he, he is a common medalist, and he kicked three goals in a win. It has to be the norm. I mean, it's a, it's a good yeah, context. Last year, he kicked 29 goals, 29. So that, that's where we're saying he's got to get better this year. Yep. yep. So Brisbane Lions, they're 46 points up. How do you lose from 46 points up? Their pressure was unbelievable in the first half. In the first five minutes of the first quarter, they're going at 295. 
the start of the third quarter, they went at 118 for the first five minutes. I think they got ahead of themselves. I think they went in at half time and thought, this is just going to roll on. We're going to win this game by 10 goals. I want to show you what happened early in the third. This is a 50 metre penalty. I'm going to pause it here. So they've had a lot of time to set up. Have a look at the effort of these four players here who are really doing nothing. This is an easy ball. I just think they're in half time mode at the moment. An easy ball goes into half forward. Again, they're all trailing out. And you don't want to give Charlie Kerno a chance to get into the game. He's hardly touched at this point, but here's Jack Payne behind it. Watch Jack Payne's effort after he realised the ball's been split. He stopped. He stopped. You cannot stop on a man like that. Gets his goal. Kicks another one 30 seconds after that. Charlie Kerno's back in the game. Carlton are back in the game. They went to sleep and got ahead of themselves.